Hi, and welcome to Magic Uncut. My name's Graham. Behind the camera, we've got my lovely wife, Diane. Say hi, Diane. Hi, Diane. Diane, ask me a question about magic. Do you know any tricks using three spectators? Three spectators. I've got a trick here used, that uses three spectators, and it uses what could be potentially a borrowed deck. There are no special cards, it's not a special deck, and this can be shuffled by the people, the volunteers if you like. They can shuffle it up, and this is a genuine shuffle, like that. Okay, now, I'll turn to spectator number one, whose name is Diane, and I'll say to spectator number one, Diane, would you like to win some money? Yes, please. Right, so what we need is, we need a card. Uh, we'll use the seven of hearts, right? Uh, the reason I've took the seven, and they could literally take any card. The reason I've took the seven is because it's got lots of white on there. Uh, and I'm going to put a, a number one there. And can you sign your initials or your name on that card? So that's your lucky lottery ticket. I'm going to split the deck there. I'm going to put it back in there. I'm going to give the deck a cut and another cut. I'm going to give the deck a shuffle face up so you can see they're all different. And I'm going to give the deck a shuffle face down. Right? Okay then. I'll then turn round and see a spectator number two, whose name is also a Diane. Diane, would you like to win some money? Yes, please. So we go through and we get the ten of hearts. That'll do perfect. Right? And I'll write a number two on there. And Diane, would you sign your name on the, the, that card? While you're doing that, I'll get the money out. I've got the money here in my wallet. There's my wallet. And the money is inside the wallet. Okay? So, I'll take the card. I'll put it into the deck, I'll give it a cut and another cut and I'll give it a shuffle face down like that just to make sure and give it some cuts like that. Okay, then I'll turn around to spectator number three whose name is also Diane and I'll say Diane would you like to win some money? Yes please. And I'll go through and we'll use the Ace of Diamonds because it's another one. They can literally pick any card they like and I'll write a three on there right. Now before you sign that one you're probably wondering how much money you can win. So yeah. inside the wallet, there is about £40 there, right? Mm. Okay, that's yours to win. Sign your name on that card. Okay, and I'll take that card, and I'll put that in there, and we'll put that in there like that, and we'll give it a cut, give it a shuffle face up, and we'll give it a shuffle face down. Now, how do you win that money? How do you win that £40? I've got five seconds to find those three cards. If I can't find those three cards in five seconds, you win the money to share between the three spectators, which means you get the lot. Okay, here's the first one. Did you see it? Yeah. Right, now I know what you're thinking. He's brought it to the top. It isn't on the top. It isn't on the bottom, and it isn't in the middle. You see, while you weren't looking, I slipped it underneath the wallet. Now I know what you're thinking, that's not it, but it is. It's under there. That's spectator number two. We're now going to try for spectator number three's card. Watch. Less than five seconds. I know what you're thinking, it's gone underneath here, but it's not underneath here. You see, if I open this up and unzip the wallet like that and go inside the wallet, you'll see I've put a card inside the wallet. That's spectator number three's card. Spectator number one's card is the difficult one. Because watch, did you see it? Less than five seconds. It's not on the top, it's not on the bottom, it's not underneath, and it's not inside this side of the wallet. You see, if I unzip the wallet again and go in this side of the wallet, I have got a little envelope which is sealed all the way around. Can you see that? Yeah? And if I tear that envelope open, like that, you'll see there's a card in there, face down, inside the wallet. Now I don't want to touch that card. You turn it over, have a look, and tell me if that's the card. Is that the card? Yeah. It is, and that is a um, trick with space, three spectators, but I know you're looking sad because you haven't won the money, so I'm going to try to get them all again in less than three seconds. Watch. Never done this before, but I'm going to put them in at different locations in the deck. You can see them going into the deck. I'm going to take the wallet. I'm going to put the wallet on top like that. And if I don't find them three cards in less than three seconds, you win the money. Come in close so you can see there's nothing in my hands. One, two, there you go. 
I've found all three because if you turn this card over, you can see they're all on there. The ten, they're all on there. I know it's a terrible gag, the 52 on one card, but there you go. But I have actually found the three cards in less than uh, five seconds because if I click my fingers, I've actually made the deck disappear, and all that's left underneath that wallet are the three cards. If I lift it up and show you the deck, deck there now, you can definitely see the whole deck has completely vanished. There's only one, two three cards left and those are the three cards and that's his trick with three spectators if you enjoyed that please check out this trick above or check out the subscription button below if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit uh, notification bell so you can get other magic and thanks for your time